So in this tutorial, it's going to show how to apply YOLO V8 to perform object detection on a video. And in this one, we're just going to make a video and add sound back to it. So, so right here, this isn't necessary to actually perform the detection. This is just to make the video with sound. So basically what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to do a git clone of the YOLO um, GitHub which is located here and you're going to want to change directory to the ultralytics and install the requirements. I've already done that right here and I'm using collab. So right here, it's already given me everything I need. And in here we have examples. We even have a Python, uh, a Python notebook, Jupyter notebook that will show us how to do stuff with it. So, and further on here, so now I have the base library import. Now from PyTube, I'm just using a YouTube video that I found. And that's basically going to um, give me the video I want. Now right here, we're going to import YOLO. And right here, I'm loading the nano model. So, yeah, right here. So this is the smallest, smallest, but smallest, but fastest model right here. We're using collab with limited space, but you could use any one of these models. So right here is where I have annotate frame. I have an annotate frame function. I'm going to go up to the docu, docu, documentation. So for the detection for Python. So basically for the prediction right here, we get a, for every, I'll go through this code in more detail in a second, but basically we pass a frame to our model and we get this results object and in this results object we have our boxes our masks if we're doing segmentation probabilities and the documentation basically has you get these boxes and then we can use OpenCV to manually draw these on now this is okay if we have some other application but if you just want to apply it to a video there's a better way to do it and that's with this annotate right here so we have two two imports right here one, we import the annotator from Ultralytics, and the other is color. So all this does is it gives us a color palette so we can get different color boundary boxes depending on the class that we have. Now this right here is iterates through all the results. Now this results object contains every detection for each frame. So we basically, we do need to set the annotator, call this class for each frame so it knows what frame to draw on, and then we can... We could go to this boxes right here and we could iterate through the boxes and just use this annotator to easily draw the box, draw the label in the same location and draw a unique color every time. And then we call, return it with this result object, which will give us this annotated frame. So that's, that's how we're draw, drawing the frames on here. So I already have that. I'm going to go ahead and start drawing them on here while I go through this code. This just takes a little bit, even though I'm using a GPU. So we can open this video with OpenCV. So this video path that we got from PyTube right here, just this simple code right here that'll get a video, basically download the video from, from YouTube of the video of some horse racing. And so right here, we can just open the video capture, check if it's opened. And right here, we're going to get the frame rate. We'll see, we'll see what this is. This is going to help us reconstruct the video with audio later. And we're just going to want to store the frames right here. Now I have this temp variable right here. Um, collab can't handle this whole video because the resolution is too high. I didn't bother to lower it. So I just kill it after a thousand iterations or, or a thousand and one iterations. So basically right here, we convert to RGB. Um, I just save here. I don't actually do anything with this. So that's not... That's not necessary, but I run the frame through the model. I use the stream equals true. And what this does is this returns a generator. And I found that this is a little bit, a little bit of more efficient since it can actually handle more frames than when I set this to false. And then we append the annotated frame to the results. And then we release the cap and move on. Now you can see that this actually is verbose, it prints everything that it's doing right here. So you see it's one person, one horse towards the end. Um, you can see every detection. And you can turn this off, but I just let it run for the, let it print for this video. 
Now we could actually do it directly on the on a video. All we have to do is just give it the path, and it'll actually it'll save the results, but it'll actually save the video in a location. Now I tried to do it on this. This video is actually too large, and it crashes collab. So we can actually write write an output. We can actually output the video using OpenCV. And now right here, we can add audio back to the clip. So what we're going to do, we're going to use MoviePy Editor to import video file clip. So we do two things. We basically give it the video right here, and then we extract the audio from the video right here. And since we didn't use the full video, we need to find out which part of the audio we use. So we can take the full video length, take the total frames divided by the frames per second, and then we can basically... Um, get trimmed the audio clip with a sub clip right here so zero to the video link that we actually uh, made or performed detections on and now we can take our original detection video right here that we saved this out on mp4 and add audio to it so we do this composite audio clip take our audio clip trim put it on here um, add the audio to it so we have our detection video and we ha don't have any audio, but when we say the dot audio equals new audio clip, we add the audio to it, and now we can write it to an output. And I don't have, I'm not gonna do this right now since I've already done it, but here's what the result is. So, you see it's pretty, pretty shaky, but it seems to get most of the objects in here. So, that's it for this. So I hope you got something out of this, learned how to use the annotate instead of doing this manually through OpenCV. It's a lot easier and a lot more clean to do it to, to use what Ultralytics has already provided. Sorry, that's it. Let's see how that